Tia, thank you for that. It is such a privilege and an honor to be in a room where I can tell this is filled with women and a few enlightened men who are fearless, strong, opinionated, and unafraid to shake things up a little bit. My name is Bertina Ciccarelli. I'm the CEO of NPower. And our work today is to have some very honest and very real conversations about how we together can not only help young women of color enter technology professions, but most importantly, especially for tonight, to really help these young women excel in their careers and fulfill their greatest potential. That's the conversation. And one of the reasons that's so important, it's important for the young women in the room tonight, it's important for all the women who are a part of our 40 by 22 program across the Empower footprint. But just in general, things have to change. And I love the expression, being a change agent, because all of us tonight need to be just that. Tia mentioned that this is the second of three convenings. The first was hosted by Google in New York, and it was really a reflection on breaking through. How can young women of color especially think about what does it take to become a technology professional? What are the skills and the tools and the training I need? Tonight's session focused on once you're in a career, how to excel. And there's some great wisdom that you're going to hear from the strong women who have a lot of great stories and wisdom to share. The third convening will be in September in California, hosted by LinkedIn. And the conversation then will be, once you've made it, what is the importance and how do you reach back to help all those following in your footsteps? And it's, when I talk about the broader picture and why it's so important broadly, is that part of our work is also to feed into, uh, call it a white paper or a set of learnings that we can share with the broader set of industries out there so that all organizations can really benefit from the words of wisdom that come out tonight and through the course of these three convenings. And the reason I'm sharing this all with you, and I talk about our work, because it is work, it's really important to be straight, to be real, to be honest, and to share what's really in your hearts. Because I think we've all been to convenings and conferences where there's a lot of platitudes and checking the box and talking about these hard issues, but not really getting to the source what we really need to have conversations about. That's why tonight is so important. I want to see by a quick show of hands how many young women are in the audience tonight who are either Empower students, alumni, or students of other types of programs, whether you're in high school or college or looking to break into the tech field or are in the tech field. Raise your hand. And I just want everybody to look around and see this group. And I'm going to make <clears throat> a special plea to all of you. You will never find, well, hopefully you do. But let me just say, tonight is a very safe and supportive environment. And I encourage you to ask tough questions and to speak your truth. Those of you who are in the audience from companies, can I see your hands? Oh, fantastic. We're really going to look for your perspective in the breakout sessions, as well in the Q&A about what is it that you need to see and how you can be helpful. And finally, one last call out I'll just give. I'll, I'll ask the question before I introduce our panelists. Who in the room is from our St. Louis team? I just I want to acknowledge and thank all of you for the hard work that you do, not just for tonight, but every day, because I know the work that you do is really is hard and rewarding. I want to thank City, because Tia in particular not only have they funded this initiative, but even more importantly and valuable, she has been a real thought partner as we have shaped the kinds of questions we're probing. And that's, you've been a um, helpful partner on many, many fronts. And I also want to thank WWT. Worldwide Technology understands how to walk the talk. Uh, it has been a model for all of us and how to think about shaping the right kind of culture, the culture that we all want to be a part of. So thank you. We have three powerhouse speakers. First, Ann Marr, who's the Executive Vice President 
of Global Human Resources at Worldwide Technology. And as I think about that title, I think somehow we got to get universe in that title because you could rule it. <laughs> and she is an endless source of inspiration. Uh, we also have Shakenya Williams Brown, who is a native St. Louisan. And she is an information system security manager with the US Department of Defense. And every waking minute is thinking about how to keep our country safe. And I also am very happy to introduce Viola Thompson, who is the president and CEO of ITSMF, the IT Senior Management Forum, which is an outstanding network of senior professionals, uh, largely black professionals, who really aspire to mentor and give back, but also a profoundly important network for professional development. And I just encourage um, all of our students to aspire to be ITSMF members one day. So without further ado, I'd like to invite Anmar to the stage uh, to share some comments and wisdom. Thank you very much.